So here we are. The winter's tale is complete. Kitten's very happy. I'm outside, it's the spring, and I'm wearing a sweatshirt because it's really cold outside. Four people went to a school today, Thursday, and presented a few scenes from The Winter's Tale. We went to a school in Hastings where students generally don't see or study or read Shakespeare. Two students were really, really interested in theater slash Shakespeare, so there were a tremendous number of questions. Bye, Thuber. It was really great. I really, 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 really would like to do that more often. Just giving back. Talking about the process. Oh wait, hi! We're talking about the process. I really hope that I have a chance to do that again. Maybe inspire some people to pick up a, a story by Shakespeare. Or to, to go see a play that they never would have considered. <sighs> That's so cool! Uh, this past weekend, Friday and Saturday, the show went up. How did the shows go? I think they went well. Friday, I was not... Uh, was not happy with myself because I... I blanked on stage. I completely blanked. I was staring at an actor and finished saying something and nothing came to mind. It was a complete blankness. Nobody noticed in the audience because, uh, thankfully, someone stepped in and threw out a line that continued the scene. <laughs> I was pretty upset with myself because, well, it's, it's not fun to forget your lines or to blank. Sometimes you skip a line. That happens. But blank. Oh, where was I? On stage, a lot of things are happening. The play. You're watching the play. While you're watching me right now, though, you're probably thinking something, right? Well, we actors have lots of thoughts going on in our head as well. Someone in the audience. Something that happened backstage. The laundry. All of it could be relevant to the character. Sometimes, it's not. <laughs> I think, I think that's what happened the night that I blanked. I was in my head, and I was thinking about the lines. Why was I thinking about the lines? I don't know. Where was I? I'd like to show you the end result of my script. You saw it at the beginning. It was nice and clean and pretty and brand new. Well, here is my script now. It's barely held on. On it, there are notes. Schedules, inside, lyrics of the song. The song went, Oh, I'm going to the meadow to sleep with my fellow Where the shepherds and the pheasants happily play I'll see you in the meadow, sleeping with my fellow Dreaming in the grass of red and green That was to go to the sheep shearing festival. Lines cut, lots of highlights, it's beat up something fierce. It has a nice bend to it. It doesn't want to stay closed. Lots of notes um, blocking my thoughts about Perdita. A girl. Oh no. Really, a really f fun face. That, that, that was me trying to tell myself it's kind of a shocker. Some farm girl? But I'm a king. My son, the prince. Farm girl? No. Not a farm girl! So, that, that's what that face was getting across. Ooh. Versions. The Arden, the Pelican, the Folio. They're all different, and yet they're all the same. The version we used was the Pelican. The Arden is a bit different. For example, one word different was corpse versus coarse. Something else I did not talk about. Projection and speaking to someone on stage. When you're watching people on stage, they could be this close. And they're speaking to each other in such a volume that it makes perfect sense to you in your seats. Except if you were watching it on film, you'd think that these people were yelling at each other. The actors have to make sure they are communicating with each other, but 
we need to make sure that you can hear us if we were to do a very quiet, intimate scene on stage and we're whispering to each other like we're being recorded by a boom mic. Well, that, that wouldn't work very well because, heck, the first row might not even hear us. So we need to project. We need to communicate with the last row. Next. Uh, there are really, really important words in this play that were said over and over and over and over and over. Okay, some of the words that stood out to me while I was reading through the script and doing my text work. You remember what text work is, right? Some of the words were imagination, honor, and time. What else? Ah, antithesis, the antithesis. Do you know what I mean? It's everywhere in Shakespeare's plays. Just thought of one. My son is about to tell Perdita's would-be dad, the shepherd, to marry them. And I'm standing right there in disguise. And he says, mark our contract. And I chime in saying, mark your divorce. It's great! Just the instant antithesis. Let's get married. You're not getting married. No. Someone asked me to talk about the meter. The meter is generally in an unstressed, stressed pattern. It's not perfect. It's not unstressed, stressed throughout the entire play. For example, that him that was the cause of this have power. Let him that was the cause of this have power. Let him that was the cause of this have power. Why is that helpful? When you're going through this kind of text, you'll see that a pronoun or a verb will stand out in that stressed state. And that that may say, ooh, this is this is gold right here. Oh, verbs and pronouns. Americans in general love pronouns. We love them. You, he, she, we love them instead of the verbs. When in fact, the verb may carry more weight. You see where this is tying in. Let's do that again. Let him that was the cause of this have power. Him makes sense. It works because the sentence is saying, let him the person that was the cause of this have power. So I want to emphasize, and the language is telling me to emphasize, him, verbs, L love them, play with them, let them roll around in your mouth. There's, mm, there's, there's substance to the word. What else is going on? I don't think it would be a good idea to record and edit while I'm working on a show. The amount of time that I spent working on Cast a Curtain was much, much, much more than I anticipated and took away from opportunities to learn my lines, do more text work, meet with other people. I'm really happy I did this. So very happy I did this. I'm so, so thankful to you for sticking with me for all the questions that you had. Thank you. Thank you very much. The Winter's Tale Cast a Curtain has reached its end. You may notice that I am wearing the same top as I was during the first Cast a Curtain episode. I did not do that on purpose.